It is almost turkey time, but Thanksgiving dinner, it can go wrong very quickly if the proper safety measures aren't taken. GTCC chef instructor Alan Romano is answering your Thanksgiving food safety questions and your cooking questions and your carving questions. Don't be shy. Get those questions to him because it's anonymous. No one's going to even know that you asked the question. The number is 336-379-5775. Chef Romano, I mean, I think a lot of times people think that if they ask a question, folks are going to think, oh, well, they don't know how to cook Thanksgiving. Everybody's got questions about how to cook stuff. I have questions. I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> really, of course. All right, so let's get started. Let's first and foremost talk about thawing the turkey because if your turkey is not thawed, it probably needs to be or in the process of. So what are the three ways that we can thaw a turkey? All right, first of all, if your turkey's still in the freezer right now, I'd get it out because um, it, it does take a couple of days to thaw out. And really, there's only three safe ways of doing it. One being taking it out and putting it in the refrigerator. A lot of people like to take it out and leave it on the counter overnight. It's probably not a good idea because that uh, turkey gets in the danger zone, which is uh, 41 uh, to, to 135. And you don't want to keep any anytime foods in that area. That's where bacteria is most likely to grow. So that's number one. Stick it in the refrigerator. Um, number two, it would be under cold running water. It has to be cold running water because Again, we don't want that temperature to go above 41 degrees. And lastly, which I don't recommend, is putting it in the microwave to under frost because microwave is actually cooking it. So that's lastly. And if your turkey's that big, I don't know if it will fit in the microwave, but yeah, I that, wouldn't do it. Now. That's the, oh my gosh, I forgot to took, take it out the morning of Thanksgiving uh, solution. Right, okay. right. <laughs> All right, let's talk about um, cooking that turkey, especially if we want to cook it with stuffing because that's a whole different kind of thing. Right, that's old school, and, and there's nothing wrong with putting the, the, you know, stuffing in the bird and all that cooking. I don't like that way because actually when you put stuffing in, it actually steams the bird because there's so much moisture in there, and it kind of just steams it and makes it, might make it a little tough. But if you are gonna do that, like you, know, you grew up, like I grew up like that, um, 165 internal temperature, that stuffing has to be minimum. Has to be. You got to get one of these things, a little thermometer, and you know I don't care how good you are. It's always good to, to check with the thermometer. Yeah, hold that up for us again. Um, so that is the meat thermometer, and do not trust what the bird looks like, smells like, feels like to your hand temperature. You have to use the meat thermometer. Yeah, it's like two, three dollars. You can pick it up at any store. Yep. Okay, so the next thing, I'm always the person in my um, family that um, carves the turkey because everyone's afraid to carve the turkey. Is there a wrong way to carve the turkey? Like I know with steak, you can't go against the grain, but how to carve a turkey? Well, it depends how you want it to look, at, how, how to present it. If you want to really present it nicely, you know, you could take it off the breast, you know, you just cut it right down the, uh, the breastbone. And, and just take it right off and put it on a cutting board and slice it that way, uh, like like so. Or you could just take it and uh, slice it right off the bird. You know, just one slice by slice. There's no right. The key is having a sharp knife. You got to have a sharp knife. Make sure you're doing. And always cut. You know, you could cut up. But if you're going to cut up again, just be really careful. That's all I could say. You know. Okay, but we do need to let the turkey rest for about 20 minutes or so before definitely. we start carving it. Now, why is that? Definitely, any type of meat you would let rest for the juices. So, like when it comes right out of the oven, let it rest at least 20 minutes, half hour before you even cut into it. I would even wait. Actually, it cuts a lot better when it's cold than it's warm because it'll stick together better. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So we've done that. Now let's go to the leftovers. So many people leave Thanksgiving dinner out so that everybody can graze for a couple of hours. What's safe and what's not safe? Well, as I said, the longer you leave it out, the more prevalent you have to bacteria growth on it. So if you have, you know, say you cook food. Now, a lot of times people bring leftovers you know, or bring, not leftovers, bring potluck stuff for Thanksgiving, like we're going to do. Um, we're going to bring it to someone's house. You have to heat that stuff up to 165 regardless. Then once it's out there, really, you got, you know, you know, uh, it can sit out, you know, for four hours. You got a four hour window. And after that, either you got to, you know, put it away or throw it out or eat it. 
you know, that's it. It's done. Um, but you, you want to put it away in the refrigerator. Uh, but, uh, but don't put it away hot either. Your left, like once you cook it, don't put it away hot. Make sure it's down to at least 70 degrees. Um, if you have to cool it down with, with ice or whatever, how you have to cool it, your pans down, whatever, put them in uh, 70 degrees and it should get down to low 41 within four hours of that. So you, you got a six hour window. You okay, six do, you, hour window. do you cut the meat off the bone or can you just stick the whole turkey carcass in there? Well, you could do the whole thing as long as it, it's, it's at room temperature at 70 degrees. That, that's the whole thing. So, like normally, like if you had a, a whole turkey or something like that, it's going to take, a, a, like a 20 pound bird is going to take a good amount of time to cool down to room temperature. It's going to take at least two hours. Uh -huh. So, okay. at least two hours. All right. And so you want to put it away and, and you, you, you can leave it on the carcass, sure. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. We're going to be back with GTC chef instructor Alan Romano with your text questions. That's coming up next.